five insane hacks to speed up your response time. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm shooting with a bunch of uh, boxes behind. It is what it is. Hope it's more about the content than it is about the background. Zendesk consultant, I've been one for the past decade. Every day I learn stuff and I come here and I make a new video for you to bring you value. So today we're going to talk about how to improve your response times in Zendesk. Number one is define teams. Now, a customer service system can't exist if it doesn't have a team, right? So you you can't offer uh, support unless you have people who are doing the actual supporting. I don't mean just having people around. Of course you do that, obviously. You wouldn't be watching this video. But do you have them grouped into departments? Maybe you do, but they have to reflect exactly how you do things internally and what the customer sees. What I mean by this is, for example, if you have a billing department and you have a no, order inquiry department, or you have a more development oriented, which offers technical support whatever you fit your business that's up to you but the number one thing that you have to do in order to increase your response times is to make sure that uh, your teams are defined so you have departments correctly assigned to the types of functions that you have in your business. You have to keep in mind that some of your agents can be part of multiple departments. So somebody has multiple skills, they can be part of maybe all of these departments, but you have to have your teams well defined. Now, if you have your teams defined well, then you can make assignments to these teams. So this is what I'm getting at actually. So you have to have these very well defined based on the functions and what you offer support for. So these teams will receive tickets on their laps and you know offer support for them number two for supercharging your response time is going to be define the types of requests i have been banging this drum for a while now and actually wanting you to define your types of requests into a drop down field in zandas so you have to think about what your customers are asking you can start for the five most uh, frequent reasons why your customers reach out to you and uh, grow from there you can't just have tickets coming into your system and not categorizing them that's a big no-no. It's preventing you from offering good handling time because your agents are having to figure out what exactly uh, the request is about, what the tags mean, because maybe somebody added a tag, what that is about. That's not a good practice, although many people do it. You have to have a drop-down with the types of requests that come into the system. Examples of uh, types of requests that come into the system, general inquiries about the product, do you have this in red, do you have this in whatever size, where is my order, categorize the requests, even if it's other, you'll be able to triage these types of requests. Now, number three, tip for supercharging your response time is to apply an AI for triaging. This point it has no meaning whatsoever if you don't have the previous two points well done. If you don't have teams and you don't have specialty, if you don't have the types of requests defined, then an AI cannot triage. So it does triage and it maybe puts some tags, but it just adds to the confusion if you don't have a type of request. What the AI does is essentially, you know, imagine a box of files you just dump into onto a table and agents what do they what do they do they come in and they take it one by one and they uh, file it and put it in the right box and in the right folder etc now what ai does is just takes these and uh, reads them all and uh, you know does it very fast and this is what we can use this functionality for and what it does is it quickly assigns a type of request to this usually how these ais work is they put a tag on these tickets now with that tag you can create a business rule to say if a ticket has this tag then directly assign whatever option in my drop down which is the type of request this is how ai works in this situation we interrupt this program to give you a word from our sponsor which is Work. if you want to borrow somebody else's 10,000 hours of using zendesk and having done over 300 projects from a Zendesk Premier partner, then hop on to this link, roca.work slash offers, any service that you need with Zendesk, how that would look like for you as a ballpark from an expert, somebody that's been doing this for decades. Once you hop on the website, on the offer page, we'll ask you how many agents you have and what kind of service you need, and we'll give you a ballpark and what that looks like. If that interests you, then we'll ask for more information and you'll be able to get an official offer from me. And uh, yeah, we can take the discussion from there. Now with any of our implementations, because we have so much experience, we'll be able to leverage all Zendesk functionality. You'll be able to look at the right reports. You'll be able to uh, make sure that you've 
using Zenith with maximum capacity, get management off your back. You'll be able to have a productive team and you'll be able to have fast responses. You'll be able to get back to your customers faster, which increases your customer satisfaction. And you'll make sure that Zenith doesn't crash when you change something. So yeah, I'll see you on the other side in roca.work slash offers. And yeah, we'll take it from there. Bye. Number four for supercharging your response times in Zendesk, integrating third parties. Third parties can be wherever you keep information about your customers or additional information about your customers. Zendesk is just one of the tools out there, right? So running a business, I know because I use about nine tools and Zendesk is one of them, but there is information about your customer where you keep most of that information. So Zendesk might be it and that's very good. So one source of truth, I encourage that as much as possible. But sometimes you have other tools where you keep information about your customers, which is your backend, right? Where you do your ERP, where you do your sales or whatever that may be. You want to service that information in Zenith. You want your agents, whenever a ticket comes in, to see that, what that ticket is about. Ah, look, this is Dominic. He's been a customer since 2015. He's bought $5,000 worth of products from us. We better pay attention to him because we don't want to lose him. I can create business rules based on how much of a priority Dominic is to me, or I can just give him fast responses. Oh, hi, Dominic. I see you have two orders with us. Which one do you have inquiries about this time? Is it this one or this one? Dominic is going to be very surprised. Otherwise, you would not have access to this kind of information. So you surface that information, agents see it, they know what the context is about, you give them more context, and your agents are going to be happy and are going to be able to give out responses happier based on what the customer needs and what they know about the customer and the more complete picture about this customer the better responses the agent can give and the faster actually this is actually wait 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 forgot turn back turn back just come back to it. This is like, this is the reason why you need the integration because agents will be able to have the full context and solve the request faster. This is why you need third parties. Number five, hack to increase your response time. Use omni-channel routing. So omni-channel routing, I just created a video about it and you can see it up top linked. And with it, what you can do is you can democratically assign tickets to agents. Depending on the agent's capacity and the agent's skills, you can assign a certain number of uh, tickets to them by channel. So email channel, phone, chats, API, form, etc. So you can add all of these to your agents depending on their capacity. If an agent has too much capacity, then their colleague can help them. And this is great because it can democratically assign these tickets and take the workload off of just one person who's the most skilled and assigns it to everyone else. So everybody does a good job. And that's amazing because, you know, it, the more you are experienced with types of requests as an agent, the more experience you gain and the better you become. I like this one a lot because because it allows you to supercharge your team and it helps everybody get tickets. And it's not fair that people that are very productive, they get all the tickets and then everybody else doesn't or just slacks by. This with the omni-channel routing is supercharging your agents and it helps your customers. So your customers will be able to get a reply faster and they will get the attention that they need. It's important to get attention when you need it, especially when you're frustrated with having bought something and nobody's there for Christ's sake. Where are they? I need help with this they say on their website that they're gonna get back to me and they're nowhere to be found <laughs> anyway customers need attention and they need a sense of urgency applied to what they need to be solved in order to keep doing business you in order to keep your bottom line going up or especially not to go down. You don't want that. Okay, hack number six to increase your response time. Use simple views. As simple as it is, simple views. Views in Zendesk are queues or folders where agents are able to see the tickets that are assigned to them. Now, I have created this wonderful, simplistic way of having views and I have shared it with you in the past and I'm going to share it again. It implies having three views. Yes, only three. Now, how you can achieve this is not easy you have to have your teams well defined remember the first point in the video well you have to have that done well define your teams so if you have your teams well defined and granular to granular teams then you'll be able to have only three views and these three views are my tickets tickets are, that are belonging to me tickets unassigned in my groups or in my teams and then unresolved tickets in my teams and when I finish my work with the tickets that are assigned to me I can go to unassigned tickets and then assign to myself or to my team members and then I can go to uh, unsolved tickets and I can help my team uh, to solve the request faster. So this is how you supercharge or you know you use hacks in order to drive 
better response times in your customer service system. Now, these are in no way hacks. These are just leveraging of existing functionality to make you more productive. So if this brought you value, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.